They're not a systematic run of what is it like to be running a year of tests for this particular ins in this particular well. So it's called logged out or graphed out is much better than saying, oh, well, we got a good test now, it's okay. It's not okay. Don't, don't believe that. This can be considered a cross connection if directly put into the water system. The state says you will provide, the city will provide protection for the water domestic system from exotic materials, chemicals, etc., by in placing double check valves or RP reduced pressure devices. These things protect the domestic water systems from infiltrations of greasy soaps or uh, exotic photographic lab, these sort of things. It's, it's a question how can a exotic chemical be introduced to the city when we offer so much of protection against it from private individuals. Uh, this is a serious question that should be addressed. This material is a volatile. Volatiles don't go away. They reduce through air or a type of absorption, which they use like a steam activated charcoal and stuff. You, you reduce like 15% through the air, about 30% through a steam activated charcoal system or other exotic systems, that, <clears throat> which are very, very expensive and take a long time. This volatile, the quick reaction would be warm water, water temperature. You take a shower, you got some volatiles coming out of your shower head. You put your young kid in a hot bath of warm water, that room has the volatiles coming out of that water because it is there. It's released through heat. This stuff doesn't go away. It only reduces. I, I would like each person to learn about this. Tetrachloroethylene, T-C-E. And just get up, read about it, you'll get more information. The more information you have about it, I think the better equipped you are to handle what could happen, not what is going to happen. When you're talking a system that will be in place for 40 or 50 years, and let's say you get only a small percentage per glass of water per day, per year, per whatever, it builds up. The infants have no way of getting away from this stuff. They're, 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 Systems are just not built for this invasion, and it affects the brains and their livers and other things. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, would people consider this a morality choice? We choose to bring a contaminant into our water system. Is that something that people would choose? Um, oh, gosh. Um, I want to ask the council and the administration if, per chance, you would give the citizens a general advantage here and a leverage here to bring a health expert who deals in public water issues to address the citizens and say, here is what is present, and then give a picture of uh, parameters, you know, quality, unqualified, or what they may say. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to make.